Hi, this is Scott Morse from Woody Cabinets Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the Advanced Filter in VBA. Now if you've never used the Advanced Filter in the actual worksheet or you have no clue what the Advanced Filter is, be sure you check out my previous video where I showed you how to do this in the worksheet. And I'll have that link posted in the description below as well as a link to download this workbook so you can follow along. So let's get started. I'm going to go into my developer ribbon here click on Visual Basics and it's going to bring up my subroutine that I already have started and I've got it named Sum Data. Now I've got some variables in here. I've got DMWS as worksheet and I've got set WS equals this workbook dot worksheets and my worksheet name and that is the name of the worksheet that I have in my worksheet tab. Now if you change your worksheet's name make sure you change it in your code here. The next thing I have is dim lrng as range. Now this is the list range that we're going to be filtering and I'm going to need to set that but before I can set that range I need to be able to know what the last row in that list range is. So I've got another variable for my list range last row and that is lrng lr. Now I've got that as long. Now, we need to set our list range, but before we do that, we need to find the last row. So, I'm going to type my variable for my list range last row, and just say equals ws.cells, and open parentheses, and the word rows, dot count, and it wants to know what column to count the rows in. And I'm just going to use the column letter there. If you're using a letter you need to type quotes and end quotes and close parentheses. Now the next thing I need is dot end open parentheses XL up close parentheses and dot row and that will find the last row in column A. Now I can set my variable for my list range since I have my last row so I need the word set and then my variable for my list range and equals WS dot range open parentheses and the first cell that I want to start my range in. In our case it's going to be B1 and I need colon and I'm going to type H right there. Now I could type something like H 500,000 and that will set my range to that but I want it a little more dynamic than that so I'm just going to end this off with quotes and I'm going to use my ampersand to join my last row to my column ranges. So ampersand and my variable for my last row and my list range. Close parentheses and that's going to go ahead and get our list range for our advanced filter. Now the next thing I need to do is clear out any existing filter that I may already have in this worksheet. And in order to do that I'm just going to wipe out all the data and columns J through Q. So I'm going to say WS dot columns and tell it what columns. I want J all the way through Q and quotes and close parentheses. Now I want to wipe out all the data in those columns so I'm going to say dot entire column and then dot clear contents. Make sure that these are one word no spaces and that's going to do that for us. Now we're ready to start the advanced filter. I need to start my advanced filter off with my list range. So I'm going to type my variable for my list range and dot advanced filter. Now when I hit space it's going to bring up this screen tip here and what it's wanting is an action and basically you have two choices. Excel filter copy and Excel filter in place. Now in VBA we need to type the word action. We don't need the rest of this and we don't need these parentheses. What I'm going to do is just type the word action okay, followed by colon and equals. Now I can select filter copy because we want to copy it to another location. So I can double click on that and I need to hit comma and now we have three options criteria range copy to range and unique we're not going to be using the criteria range so I'm going to type copy to range with no spaces colon and equals 
you see that highlight bold so we need to tell it what range to copy it to and that's going to be K1 so I need to say WS dot range and K1 now I want to copy unique records only so I'm going to hit comma one more time and type the word unique and then colon and equals true now you can see how this string of code here is getting quite long I can continue it to the next line I could come right here after my comma right there or I could go before my comma it doesn't really matter the important thing is that you you hit your spacebar and then you can use your underscore and hit enter as long as you got a space before you hit your underscore it's going to allow this to go to the next line the underscore tells VBA that hey he's got some more code we need to go to the next line now that's our advanced filter what we need to do next since we wiped out all the data in column J we need to put quantity back into column header or column J so I'm going to say WS dot range parentheses quote J1 and close parentheses equals and then in quotes QTY and that's going to put quantity back in there for us so that's all we need to get our advanced filter let's step through this line by line and make sure everything's going to work properly I'm going to hit F8 and right there we're setting our workbook as this workbook dot worksheets sheet 1 and now we're going to find the last row in our list range right now it equals 0 when I hit F8 it's 47 and that's working now right here we're going to set the list range so F8 now we're going to clear out all the data in columns J through Q F8 and you see that's gone now we're going to do our advanced filter if we got everything all our syntax correct it's going to work for us and there you go you see our advanced filter right here and now we're going to put quantity back in J1 and that worked so that'll wrap it up for this video I hope this video helped you out if it did how about give me a thumbs up and make sure you stay tuned for my next video where I'm going to show you how to do the sum ifs in VBA now that's quite a bit different than doing it in the worksheet if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe so you can get all my latest tips and tricks and as always thank you for watching and have a good day